Oh no, the cattle's just about boiled. Um, last big item to make is the flywheel. This uh, is meant to be made in two pieces with a copper outside, some copper tube, and a brass inside. Well, I haven't got any of that. Um, I've got a piece of aluminium here that was already had a hole in the guts, which I've locked the slug into, uh, which was bloody nice and tight. Um, it calls for 31.75 wide. This isn't that. This will end up about an inch wide. But I still think it'll have enough mass. So I'm probably going to divert off this pattern a little bit. Make it a bit thicker. I don't know. Just build it as I go. Um, so that's going to be the flywheel. Then there's only a short spacer to make up. Then it goes between the side of this flywheel and the side of the housing. Or the main upright block. Um, lock tight it all together and hopefully it'll be a runner fingers crossed I make cup of tea right, yeah I'm just going to skim this outside to clean it up a bit more power When I put that slug in there, I put a recess in the middle of that slug that held the lock tight. So as long as I go even each side of that slug, of each side, like cut in evenly from each side, that lock tight section will stay in the middle. So I've got a little bit of sums to do and then I'll start knocking out all this guts here. Put that 9mm deep recess there, so I'm going to flip it around now and do the opposite side and then I'll swap the jaws over and then hold it on this inside ring and just skim this outside. Just hope it's right.
use. <coughs> um, take this out now. It's actually not a bad finish. You can't really see where that slug is now either, which is good. Um, take this out, swap the jaws over, hold it on the inside, but try not to mark it too much. You might just have to sand them marks out later. And then um, do the outside, trim the outside off, and then I just got to break that edge there too. Forgot about that. And then I'll bore the hole concentric with the outside. I know I've spun it around, we're just going to skim this outside to true it up. We've got to put a 3 8 hole in the guts here. Um, this is the design that come from Aaron, from Aaron Engineering. When I mentioned Aaron I was going to make this engine, he said to me, don't build the base, I'll take care of that. And true to his word, he did. So, this turned up in the mail. He's actually built the base and laser engraved, or laser etched, whatever you would like to say it. My, um, my logo into the base and on the back end yeah, Maddie's workshop large wobbler engine September 2021 mate I can't thank you enough for this I'm just I'm stoked that's just gonna set it off brilliantly because I I got no timber here to make a base I didn't know what I was going to do about it, actually I, mean, I haven't got any thick aluminium plate to make one which I that was one of my thoughts but mate you've taken care of this and thank you very very much over the moon he did send a few other bits and pieces but i'll put them in another video so thanks very much aaron so uh you see me make the flywheel um and the i didn't film the making of the the uh, brass spacer for the bush or yeah bush spacing bush if you want to call it that so I did go a little bit stupid with the polish and give it a quick quick hit so that's the way the flywheel turned up covered in fingerprints now but so that's going to look quite nice sitting on that block of wood so I'll get all the other bits out lay a sheet down here and I'll get all the other bits out and We'll put it together, eh? Righto. So, we start off, we've got the base. We've got a flywheel. Air intake is the main body. Crankshaft, crank wheel and crank pin. The, the wobbling valve body. The piston slides in. That's that brass spacer bush, which is pretty basic. And we've got the piston and gun rod. So 
Oh, I've still got the spring, retainer, little retaining bolt, and a little tiny spacer, brass spacer. So, I'm going to put this bastard together. Alright, better give it a quick clean. So it's an M8 bolt in the end of this one. And I haven't got any socket head cap screws. So, I won't be getting one of them. Rag just fell on the floor. Every friggin' thing's landing on the floor. Bastards. Fuck, that go. Stop looking, I found it. So, what way do we want this? Do for now. Rag fell on the floor. Every bloody things falling on the floor. So, now, um, I have had this engine given it a run and I had a bloody burr on it and it marked the side of it up here, which, you know, shit happens. Bit of oil. Just use a bit of whey oil. Don't need that one, there's already one on there. So now we want to put a bit of oil on that piston. Not much, just enough. Go inside the pot. <laughs> Gotta love that. Put that in the wrong way around, didn't I? Dickhead. Everything's falling out on me. Here in his covered in fingerprints now. Put a bit of oil on that. Just a bit of polish and shit in that. Yeah. Polish and shit in that fitting there. Space in here. I did uh, lock tight the crankshaft and everything, all in bits in there. Bloody fingerprints and oil all over it again. Enough to give it a shit. Spend a couple of hours cleaning it up and then they go and put fingerprints all over it. Because it can't be avoided, can it? So 
Okay, on with the flywheel. And a little bit of Loctite. Just to glue this intake pipe in, which I'll give that a good clean before I. So I have to clean around the pipe. There we go, the engine is together. Just got to give that a bit of a magical clean. Especially now I've put all my greasy mitts all over it. But that's life, that's what happens when you build stuff, I suppose. So there we have one engine fitted, put together. And before I run it, I'll put a little bit of WD-40. As you can see that there, WD-40 in here. So it's, yeah, rubs a bit nicer. So there we have the engine assembled, which is not a lot of work to put it together, really. Um, bigger job now. I shouldn't have polished the bloody thing. Now I'm going to have, I hate fingerprints on stuff. So I'm free. I'll be forever friggin' wiping fingerprints off the bastard. But that's all right. We can tolerate that. So there we go. Now one thing I haven't got is a bit of silicon hose or something to put over here. To, um, so I'm going to have a bit of air leak when I put the air, you know, the air blow gun in there to make it run. So I didn't I have got this, which is pretty shit. I suppose I could somehow tie that on there and make that work. But I'll have a bit of fiddle around and see if I can get a bit of, get this hose to seal up and then we'll go from there, eh? I really don't know how long this is going to last. I just got a, a spring and just straighten the spring out near them because I've got no hose clamps. I thought I had some, but I haven't. But anyway, hopefully we'll get a run out of it. Hopefully the bastard will run good. So I'm just going to put a bit of goodness in there. Yeah, run like a clock. She runs, man, she runs. Well, doesn't like that much pressure. <laughs> that runs, though. That's a bonus. Try and do something. I've just clamped it down to the bench. Got a lump of rag under the, under the uh, clamp so it doesn't mark the base, but...
I'd almost class that as a success, I reckon. Just for a bit of fun, I'll see how many revs it can get out of the thing. <laughs> so I've got it set on up, it'll go up to size 5000, but it won't it'll be nowhere near 5000. So we're looking at the red scale. thousand RPM fifteen hundred so we got fifteen about sixteen fifty <laughs> uh, that was a bit of fun see how low we can get it About 200 RPM. About 200 RPM is about the last I can get this one to run. Yeah, about 200 RPM is about as slow as I can get it to run. <laughs> Anyway, that's that. Well, there we have it. A successful build and a runner. Um, actually runs way better than what I thought it was going to. Um, and to get 1,600 revs out, that's not bad. So I want to say a big thanks to Aaron for the plans and to the base. Uh, that was a massive help. And um, I just want to thank everybody for, yeah, sticking with me on this build. So... Yeah, I'm looking forward to building another engine, um, which I've just picked up some dividing plates for some gear cutting. So I've got another engine in mind. So that's, it'll be a few weeks, probably till another video while I'm getting some gear together and bits and pieces. So, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that build. I had a blast making it and um, I honestly didn't think it was going to run the way it does. So <laughs> runs better than what I bloody thought it was going good so this will go and get put on the shelf now um, pull it apart give it a good scrub up clean up and stick it on the shelf and every now and again I'll get it out and give it a run and have a play with it and boom, put it back on the shelf anyway thanks very much guys hope you enjoyed that and uh, see you on the next build